Hello, my name is Mrs. Stephanie Daniel, grade 4. Today we want to look at uh, indigenous medicines in heritage social studies. Right, what do we mean by indigenous medicine? Right, when we refer to indigenous medicine, we refer to the medicines which were used long back before we have these medicines now which we are using. We know that now when you are sick, uh, maybe where do you go when you are sick? Everybody rushes to the clinic, everybody rushes to the hospitals because now we are in a modern society compared to what happened long back. Before there were hospitals, people of long back relied on indigenous medicines. Those were the medicines which they would go out in the bush, either they would take the tree leaves or they would take the roots and then they were told by the traditional healers how to prepare those medicines and they would drink those medicines and they will be well again right even today we find that in this modern society there are some people who still believe in these indigenous medicines we have seen even when we are coughing at home our mothers may go to the guava tree they extract the guava leaves they take the lemon leaves or the lemon fruits and then they will cut it and then they will mix, brew it and then when you are coughing you are given that composition and then the cough goes away like that. So today let us look at other indigenous medicines which we used the long day which could be of help even today. We are saying Zimbabwe has a lot of knowledge about this use of medicines. For example, we have a, a herb which is known as an aloe. Right. Aloe is an English name meaning in Tava in the Rene. This is in Tava and it is called kava here kava 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 please here you will uh, uh, you will have to uh, say this correctly i'm not sure of the pronunciation but whatever it the pronunciation is it means an alu in in kava Right, it is a common plant that is used in Zimbabwe and it grows where there is less rainfall. What happens is this aloe, what is used, it is the liquid. It has got leaves and then the liquid from the leaves uh, is the one that is taken from the aloe and then it cures uh, stomach problems if you have got a stomach problems you can use the liquid from the aloe also those who have got high blood pressure it is it is used to control the the high blood pressure so, if we can take the leaves from this aloe and then they are crushed, then they are soaked overnight and then the affected person is given to drink. Maybe you can look at this uh, picture here. It is the picture of the aloe. So, Every time when you see such a picture and you have got somebody who wants help, 
we have got stomach problems, high blood pressure. This one you can use it. Then also it can it can be used to treat many other diseases. Secondly, this one is the first one we have another indigenous uh, medicine which is called easy heart. Ah, most of us, I think, even your parents know about easy heart, which is called murumanyama, 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 murumanyama. Right. Also, it was used. Even now, there are people who use isihaka to treat stomach problem. Again, you find that many herbs were used are used to uh, treat stomach problems. Here, the bats people take the pieces of the bat and then also they are soaked over the night in water or other parts are dried and then after drying, drying them they grind it and then put and mix it into water then the sick person is given to drink uh, this water which is uh, put with the medicine is put in so that when he has got stomach problem the person will be relieved now another medicine is called moringa. This is another traditional medicine. It is called moringa. We have a Tonga name now for this med medicine. The Tongas, oh sorry for the writing. The Tonga name for this medicine is called Zikalanda. Now, these are the people who mostly believe in the traditional medicine. They, they use medicine, the powder, from crushed moringa seeds, the herb has got seeds, so they crush the seed. Then, even if they believe that, even if there is dead water, if they crush the seed, pour the seeds, they crush the seeds in the dead water, that water is going to be cleared. Also, they say the moringa tree is very rich in vitamins and mineral salts. If you may have this medicine, it is rich in vitamins and mineral salt which means even now it is uh, advisable that people if they like they can use these traditional uh, medicines especially the leaves especially the roots you dry them most of the time and then you see to it that they are crushed and then you put them, steer them in water and then you use them. Then we have got what we call murembe rembe umshashanyama. This is the type of the medicine which we have by the bark and roots are also used. These murembe rembe uh, Medicine is used to cure bilharzia. Let's look at the leaves. These are the leaves, and this is what is being taken from the umshashanyama. It is also soaked in the water, and then the affected person they can drink this medicine to relieve the person from bilharzia. The last one which I want us to talk about today is Mororo. Mororo. This one is also uh, a traditional medicine which was used 
uh, long back and even now that one bears a fruit look how beautiful the fruit of the mororo tree is when it ripes it turns yellow and then you take this fruit and also the roots then when they are boiled together they are used to treat flu so the sick person is given this concussion we call them concussion so that whenever the person uh, has flu he drinks the fruit which is being fried and then also the roots of Mororo tree. I hope today you have learned at least four, you have learned about four indigenous medicines. Please find out the ones which are being used or ask maybe with some of them here they have been used uh, at your homes or you have been given. Myself, I have used Isihaka, which I was given by my mother. Even now, my children, when they have got stomach problems, I give them Isihaka, which I believe it works. So, these were the medicines which were used long back and are being used even today. Thank you.